Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Keel here. I'm alive, all right? <laughs> Let's put it like that. I'm alive. Uh, you know what? You know what? I apologize to everybody. It's been a minute. Um, shout out to everybody who uh, sends me text messages and emails and stuff like that. I try to respond to everybody. And, and you know what? I appreciate, you know, the people who are subscribed to my channel that, you know, keep in contact with me. Like, I appreciate that so much because, you know, like, Making videos is hard. I, I don't think people really appreciate how much work goes into making videos. And so, like, as I always say, like, I I try to respond to everybody who sends me an email or text message or, you know, people who respond to to videos and stuff like that. So I, I definitely try to reach out to all you guys. But, like, I appreciate that. All right. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll say this, too. I'm busy. I'm doing things. And when I come up with good topics or like something happens in the DJ world, I'll be like, you know what? I got to make a video about that. Generally, I try and kind of make, I want to, I want to make quality content that I think that I would watch. And I think people care about rather than just putting out content for the sake of putting out content. Uh, and, you know, it makes it harder trying to do stuff all the time, but it is what it is. Anyways. Um, all right, anyways, anyways, I want to talk about music. Um, you know, a lot of times DJs, we've got channels and stuff like that. We talk about the gear. We talk about mixing techniques and, you know, this and that. And we have this abstract stuff like that. But, like, the fact remains most DJs play the music that's popular right now, whether it's on the radio or <laughs> on TikTok or, you know, whatever it is. DJs are playing music that's popular and I put out a, I would say a, a poll on, on my YouTube channel. If you not subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe now, damn it. Like subscribe, damn it. But, uh, on my community page on my YouTube, I put up a poll and I was asking the question, are you happy with the music right now? Um, I'm old school. I've been around since vinyl. Uh, I've been around for a long time, off and on DJing, but I, I've been through different times as the DJs going on. Music's been going on. Different decades, different styles of music. Some music pop and more popular than others. Like if you were out in early 2010s, Dance music was the shit. <laughs> dance music was everywhere. Everyone was making it. It was the most popular stuff. It was killing the game. And, you know, Drake and all these guys, Young Money, they were doing good. They were doing solid. But the thing that people got excited about was dance music. And then Trap just went and took over. And Trap's been a thing for a long time. Longer than it's... It's overstayed as welcome. I'll put it like that. I've I've been in situations this year playing trap music and got no response. I'll never forget. I was talking to somebody about this and uh, they are saying that they were talking about Drake's new album, Certified Lover Boy. Uh, I was talking to somebody about it and, you know, they like Drake. They like all the music and all the stuff like that. They're, they're fanatics about this stuff. But, and this is an actual quote. You know, I, I have no disrespect to Drake, man. <laughs> I'm going to be kicking down my door or whatever, but I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, I was asking somebody what they thought about the album or whatever, and, you know, they, they talked about the Too Sexy song. And the response that I got was, I didn't like the song until the video came out, and I thought that was telling. I think that we're at this time and frame where a lot of people... They're kind of coerced into, I, coercing, coercing is a, a strong word. I would say that they are influenced from other people's interpretation about something. So the people enjoying songs aren't genuine. It's kind of a, I like the song, like, rather than I liked it, the song's okay. And then there's 30 other people like, oh my God, it's the greatest song ever. Or or you see it on a TikTok dance or whatever. And then now in your brain, you're like, oh, you get the social validation from other people. And now you feel better about the song. I'm getting to why this matters for DJs in a second. But 
a lot of the current songs or whatever, and I'm not singling out Drake in this instance, but I'm just saying a lot of the current music that's out, it's kind of being validated because of a TikTok thing. You know, a lot of people are, you know, there's a song, whatever, and then everybody copies the TikTok thing and makes the exact same. Cl- I, it drives you. I hate TikTok. TikTok is a cancer, right? But <laughs> there's a lot of people who who follow the TikTok trend and want to recreate whatever that popular dance is or the popular short video, whatever it is. So what I'm saying is the people's genuine love for a song is artificial. It's more so because of this thing's popular and it's the reason why people like it or whatever. I say this to say, <laughs> as a DJ, this <laughs> sucks. <laughs> For if you play dance music or whatever, like it's fine. Like you're in your you're in your sub genre, and you know the people who listen to this kind of music, they love it. They're they're fans of it. But in the top forty pop realm, this really stinks. And a lot of mobile DJs are going through this right now. It's kind of a gray area where. It used to be more obvious what was popular, what you should play, and why you should play it. Now it's more of a, I like this song on TikTok that nobody else has ever heard of before and have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, can I hear that? And everybody else is like, what, the, what is this? But because it, it's popular in TikTok dance, and you know, you kind of, people have this genuine need to hear these songs because it's popular for uh, a mixture of people. I I equate the actual dance floor right now to the Wild West. It's a collection of random people who don't know each other, who have different tastes in music, who don't overlap. And it has become increasingly more complicated forming a dance floor out of this coalition of United Nations, if you will. <laughs> and, and the thing is though Before you could be like Well this is popular on the radio I just check billboard charts Good to go Now I need to follow the trends on Spotify I need to follow the trends on SoundCloud I gotta follow the trends on Tidal I need to follow the trends on TikTok There's sections right now On Spotify And even BeatSource does this now To tell you What are popular songs that are trending now for whatever reason. And you have to form a dance floor out of this. It's, it's becoming increasingly annoying. One thing, I, I like the fact that the go-to for older people used to be disco or, you know, 80s music. That used to go to. Now the go-to is 90s music or early 2000s, 90s music. That's the go-to. That's a... Uh, Across all genres, all age groups, everybody's like, oh, I know that song, and they're good to go, whatever. But current songs, it deviates so wildly. It's incredible how wild, uh, how wide the gap is between what people find popular and why. It is, it's insane almost at this point. <laughs> I, I like, I still like being a mobile DJ because... You know, like I, I do stuff with companies and whatever. And they're like, hey, you play some Spanish music, damn it. We're good to go. <laughs> Whereas, you know, if it was just a random collection of people, I have to figure out what they want to listen to. Like, it's, good God, man. <laughs> it is all over the place. I've never seen anything like this before. And, you know, I when I got to DJing before, it was strictly, I only played rap music. Just straight hip hop. Like boom, bap, hip hop, that kind of stuff. I still love it. <laughs> but uh, that's the, you know, it was narrow. I used to play, I'd do parties and it would be like a reggae DJ and like a guy who played soca music. And then I'll come in, me and my boys will come in, we'll spin some hip hop for a little bit and we'd get off and the reggae dude, would, he'd throw down his dub plates and that's the end of that. And <laughs> soca dude would come up and he's got his, throwing his wave around. But like, Everybody was sectioned and corded off in these areas and the party worked because everybody appreciated all these types of music. But now DJs, we do everything. So you kind of have to learn everything, but I'm getting off topic. But the point is, is that 
the cool part was everybody there appreciated what it was and he knew what they were getting. And that's why I like doing the corporate stuff because corporate's telling you, hey, I need you to play <laughs> some renge or I need you to play soca or I need you to play rap music, whatever. And then they, they kind of funnel it down to you for you. And then you got to figure out from the people that are there. But, uh, you know, like this is short work. This is easy stuff. A collection of random people walking into a bar <laughs> and you want to play music for them. That's more challenging. Now, a club is different because a club expecting this type of music and they're expecting current music and expecting, you know, whatever, whatever the type of night it is. If it's trap night, you have to play current trap and that's it. You're good to go. Everybody there is on the same page. But when you're doing stuff with a, a random selection of people, like this becomes even more difficult than it ever has been before. I had a video I was talking about, you know, how you can use Shazam to kind of narrow down what's popular. But the thing that's weird is that, I shouldn't say weird, but the thing that's interesting to me about it right now is that before, if you've been following music for a long time, when, when dance music was hot, that's all people wanted to listen to. You know, you had your subsections of people or whatever, whatever. But I'm just saying, like, if you had a, a top 40 pop group that wanted to listen to whatever's popular, top 40 is Cardi B, Drake, whatever, whatever's Number one on Billboard, that's top 40, that that top 40 slot. The top 40 slot used to be <laughs> a section of music. It was obvious what's popular, and you can kind of weed out the miscellaneous kind of songs. You know, they, they have like a rock song here. Like you can kind of weed it out, or you could play it, but it wouldn't deviate too much from the core of the music that you're kind of, that would reach the masses, if you will. Today... This core of songs that reaches the masses is wide as hell. And the thing that makes it worse is Spotify and Tidal and YouTube and all this other stuff. Because, you know, you go down the rabbit hole on YouTube and you start watching videos. You start hearing stuff you've never heard before. And <laughs> this person who's playing music they've never heard before and they start liking it or whatever. Now you've, you've attuned their taste to this one area. And then... Multiply that by 200 people and they're all getting that narrow version of music that just hits their, their sub genre of taste and likes. And it makes DJ more complicated here. So now I, I have to play classic rock. I got to play pop rock. I got to play <laughs> jazzy rock and I got to play soca. I got to play reggae. I got to play dubstep. I got to play dance hall. I got to play like you say, like we're, We've expanded people's tastes because of Spotify and Tidal and all this and YouTube, whatever. People's tastes went from <laughs> this narrow thing to this thing here, the jazz hands, all these little branches. This is where people's taste is right now for music it is all over the place. And as I'm saying, it's complicated what people want unless you can narrow it down. And this is why it is vital as a DJ to try and focus what you're trying to play and who you're trying to play it for. The days of being a DJ and I'm going to reach the masses with this certain type of music, those days are over. Those days are done. You can bury it, stick a fork in it. It's over. People are all over the place right now. And there's no, I keep repeating this, but I, I, I got to narrow it home, right? Everybody's taste is all over the place. Now, you you have the just sub-genres of what people like, but it is damn near impossible to spot like, hey, <laughs> you with the tassels and the cowboy hat, you like trap music, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you used to be like, oh, I Country guy, all right, got you. Cool, 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 country music. Now it's like, um, uh, jazz? <laughs> it's hard. You can't, you cannot look at this group of people 
and be like, I'm going to read this thing perfectly. I know exactly what you want to hear based on what you're wearing, based on how you're dancing, based on the age groups, based on the sex. I'm not going to go there right now, but like whatever that is, you couldn't look. It was easier to look at people before and be like, okay, I know what you want to hear now. Now it's like, I've, I've seen some Spotify playlists from brides and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> like, wow. What do you like? <laughs> Cause this playlist says I threw a bunch of music in the air and it caught some on my phone. And this is my taste now in music. Like that's what it looks like. That's honest to God what it looks like. I threw a bunch of stuff in the air and I said, YOLO. Oh, it is wild. It is really wild right now where people's heads are at and what people want. And it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. I would say the positives are people are more open to different genres of music now before it was narrow. I listen to rap. I listen to country. I listen to rock. I listen to R&B and that was it. But now people's tastes are more open up. So you can play some of this, you can play a little bit of that. And they're like, you know, I'm vibing with this or I've never heard it before, but like, I like it. Let me throw my Spotify up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's becoming more and more a thing. The negatives of this, <laughs> it is damn near impossible to please the whole audience. Cause it, you know, as, as your goal as a DJ, you would like to please 80% of the people in the party. Now, of course, you're going to get some, hey, hey, can you play my whatever? And you got the, uh, or we're leaving. Can you, play? like, of course, like, of course, you're going to get that. You're going to get that. But if the dance floor is 8% full, you did your job. Like, that's a solid night for most people. And, you know, if you want the ratios of stuff you want to reach up, that's a solid night for a lot of DJs. But, you know, you're obviously going to get some people are complaining about whatever, whatever. But today, <laughs> holy crap, it is, holy crap. I would, I, I do not, I do not want to go and play an open format in a bar where just random people are walking. Oh my God. That, that sounds like a nightmare. Cause you can't get a set together of, I'm just going to play with this or whatever. Like you're like country rock rap, <laughs> soca, reggae, reggae, reggae tone. You know, you're going all over the place. Like, I, I just don't enjoy that. I, I like it to me musically. I like when I can put a block together, 10 songs of this, five songs of this, whatever. But like, just, a block of things that are, that fit together. Like they, they fit together. I don't like jumping back and forth between genres and styles, or whatever. And the people on dance floor don't like it either. I have never seen, unless you're a headliner and people came to see you DJ. I've never seen miscellaneous DJ. Number one, play random songs and everybody's happy with the jumping around between the songs and stuff. You may do that for your, your playlist when you're in a car and you're driving on a trip. You may do that for that, but I've never seen a successful dance floor of the guy who played disco next to country, next to rock, next to trap, next to, cause what happens is people are like, oh yeah, finally trap. And they start dancing like country and you gotta sit down. And so you're just going to have the revolving chair of people getting up and sitting down. So it makes your job incredibly difficult unless you have the gift of God and the greatest song selection of all times. Most people fall on their face, just jumping around between stuff. And when I do weddings, I'm like, Oh, you like this? You like this? Okay. Let me put a little, couple songs together at least to some continuity together. And the people are like, yay, disco. Like they're those people, they're happy for a little bit and they can sit down and younger people are like, yeah, you're going to finally play trap. Okay, cool. And those people come up. I have yet to see unless, and you have to have the caveat, unless people came specifically to see you DJ and your style is jumping around between stuff. Generally, you're going to have a miserable night. It's going to fail and it's going to be terrible. 
because everybody's gonna play musical chairs up and down, up and down, up and down the whole time. And I don't. People are not gonna enjoy themselves. I'll put it like that. In in my experience of DJing, I have not seen that be successful. People like it, and they're like, oh, I don't like that song, and they sit down, and it's gonna be just up and down the whole night. All right. <laughs> The rambly ramble, but my my question is, and I've asked this in the community section on my YouTube. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my damn channel and my Twitter, my Instagram. Actually, not Twitter, my Instagram, and <laughs> I just talk. I I talk to it on Twitter. Like don't don't follow my Twitter, but like Instagram and and YouTube for sure. Follow over there. Uh, what is your thoughts on music right now? Are you happy that everything is just all over the place in the mixed bag and a jumble of songs? Do you prefer where everybody likes the same types of music together? Are you a niche DJ? Are you a DJ that plays the the top 40 stuff? So you're jumping around country, Justin Bieber, rock songs, like whatever. <laughs> are you that person? You're doing a mixture of whatever, whatever, or... Are you're, you're more focused DJ and you only play dance music or trap or whatever. Like I'm, I'm kind of curious to all this. Um, leave a comment below. Definitely leave a comment below. This was a ramble. I thought it was time to make a video. So like I, I just had to throw a ramble out. I'm very curious about the comments in here. Leave a comment. Cause there's no right or wrong answer to this. All right. Everyone plays different. You play to your strengths and you play to your crowd. That's most DJs have to do that. But I'm definitely kind of curious to what people's thoughts are about where things are going right now and how divided people are with the music they like and what they want to listen to because it is wide range. At least that's been my experience. Anyways. <laughs> hey, I finally got the Peace Out to shirt. It is in the stores. Um... I ordered a bunch. I may give some away or something like that. Let me know if you like the design or whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you want to support the channel? Buy something for my t-shirt shop. DJKeo.store. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the emails, all the likes, all the subscriptions, all the people that are real ones out there supporting your boy. Shout out to you. Um, Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, peace out. Bitch.